All right, what is up boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. Checking out XRP here today. Really quick update for you on the daily time frame. As always, before we begin, like and subscribe. Love you all very much indeed. Thank you for supporting the channel. You're all absolute legends during this bear market. And without further ado, a quick look at XRP here on the daily time frame. Really, and not that much going on to be fair, is that you can see recently in terms of the macro have been pretty good. Massive breakout because of the... Uh, the news surrounding the SEC case for Ripple, which is obviously really, really positive for XRP. Huge pump to the upside, massive 103% bump in one day, massive ridiculous candle. Come up and touch the 618 Fibonacci. Fibonacci pulled from the previous bull market high to the current bear market low. Came up, touched the Fibonacci, get the re retracement, coiled up and consolidated. If we look at the hourly time frame, you can see this much better. Coiling up, consolidating, come back up, touch the high come down, touch the low, and now looking like we are just, you know, chopping sideways, really putting in a little bit of a range right now. Quite low volume for XRP. You can see just how much the volume has been tapering off. On the daily time frame, you can see this more clearly as well. The volume right now, very low. Really, we are just chopping it up anywhere from around 65 cents up to around the 85 cent level for the past few weeks. It's been really, really cool to see XRP doing so well, though. I do think in the long term, this is going to do extremely well. But right now, really not that much happening at all. I probably think the same can be said of Bitcoin. Without even looking at the chart, really, you can see that we've come down. Had a little bit of a retracement, but really very, very low volume right now for Bitcoin as well. The market's really just waiting for a little jump start. Not that much going on at all, I would say, today. I'm just staying out of the markets, not looking to take any trades. Waiting and seeing what happens next, really, with this. If we do come down and fill some of this gap down here, which could be quite a possibility. Or if we get a continuation to the upside with another piece of news surrounding the SEC case, maybe a settlement agreement fully agreed, we could probably see a bit more of a pump to the upside, at least a retest of this high again, if that was the case. But right now, really, we are just waiting for a little bit more of a retracement, in my opinion, probably going to trickle to the downside like we often do until we see volume coming back into the market. So... As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really, the levels that I'm looking for right now. down, but Getting back down towards that 68 cent level, where we could see ourselves breaking down. Or if we're coming back up towards 84, 85 cents, we could see ourselves breaking to the upside, depending on what we see in the wider market. So that is it for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Get involved in the content. And check back every day for another video. And I'll see you in the next one.